Okay, so welcome back. Here we are in the basement. Again, this is the right foundation wall adjacent to the rear right corner of the home. Got a diagonal crack here. If I back off, you can see the scale of this crack a little more. Starts up here, all the way here, under the, under the wall, or under the window, rather. We zoom in. You can see the size, the size of the crack. Pretty substantial. Use my hand in there just for scale. And if you stand here, you can see evidence of the foundation wall bowing inward. You can see how in the middle of the wall, how it's coming in like this. You can see how the framework, the two by four framework is, is pushing inward as well because of this, because of this pressure. Diagonal crack down here below. Again, this is the rear right corner. If we go to the back wall, the back foundation wall, we've got some additional horizontal crack in here. Vertical crack down below. And that horizontal crack on the back wall extends about to oh, 15 feet or so from that corner. We'll go over here through the utility room into the finished part of the basement. We can really see the extent of the cracking in the hand there for scale, that crack is about half an inch wide. And again, you can see the displacement here, the overhang below the basement window here. Again, you can see evidence of that, of the wall bowing inward in the middle. And this cracking, by the way, goes the extent, the full extent of the basement wall, the right wall. Kind of branches off here diagonal so again with what we looked at in the previous video with the exterior of the home I wouldn't there's no way I would have been able to predict or assume the the scope the scope of this cracking or this damage from just what I saw outside there was absolutely if I had would if, if this drywall had not have been removed inside the basement here there's no way we could have seen this unless we would have seen some kind of bowing evidence to the drywall itself. So again, with what little evidence we had outside, there's no way we could have predicted the scope of this cracking, like I said. So as I always say, this is why we as inspectors do what we do. Always recommend when we see evidence of something, we don't know the extent of what that something is until a little bit more investigation is done, which is why we recommend qualified contractors who evaluate problems when we see them. So, just a little informational video for you all. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it very much. Again, I'm Eric with Castle Home Inspections in St. Louis. See you next time.